Hello and good morning. Welcome to our channel, Retirees of Ride. <laughs> I know it seems like we're dragging this morning, guys, yes. because we have not had our coffee yet. We are here at one of our favorite coffee shops. They have great food here, too, called Mosier. And they have a really good barista. I know you can't see it from here, but oh, maybe. The barista makes it really, really nice. Um, oh, there we go. <laughs> get a little closer. Look at that. Perfectly made. <laughs> yeah, they're very tasty too. One of the reasons, one of the big reasons, their coffee here is excellent and very, very tasty is because it's Italian. They use Italy products, which is wonderful. I lived in Italy for a while, and uh, in, um, when I would have my uh, lattes and cappuccinos there, they were like, ah, mamma mia, <laughs> they were incredibly good. So when we started coming to Mosher, uh, we noticed that they did carry our Illy products. So, uh, yeah, this is a wonderful, wonderful, yeah. So part of the reason why we're really tired and I'm feeling a little down is, like you said, we've been on a home project trying to find a home. We found it, found the home of our dreams, something that I've always uh, imagined was a home full of glass. And this home provided that for me. However, you know, we bought it in January, and again, it was promised in April, and it has been seven months longer now, and so it's probably going to push about a year before we actually get into it. So it's just hard to stay positive, which is waiting and waiting and just keep showing up and it's not ready, and they keep telling you it's going to be ready. So it makes it very difficult to plan or do anything. You can't go on trips, you can't go anywhere, because they keep telling you it'll be ready in three weeks, six weeks. So then we did make plans around that, and then it doesn't happen again. Yeah. So just sharing some of our thoughts and feelings. That's part of home buying and going through the building process. I would understand more, too, if it was a custom home that we built from scratch, designed by an architect, but this is a, a project, so it should be much more consistent and smooth going. But you know, when we speak to other people that live here from Mexico, um, they, when we explain to them that uh, we bought the home uh, in January of this year, and they told us it would be ready in April of this year, which of course, here we are in October, uh, getting ready to be in mid-October. Uh, actually, we are mid-October, and uh, the house is still not ready. Um, so uh, we spoke to some people that actually live here from Mexico, and uh, we explained our situation with the house, and they said this is the way things are. They move very, very slow in Mexico, you know. Uh, sometimes shipment takes a while, and I guess other, um, other things that are going on as well. There seems so, to be normal is what they yeah, tell us. That's they what they tell us. Double or triple or quadruple the time. Yeah. You know, but had we known, had they told us early on, like Ken was saying, I mean, we can make arrangements to be, maybe we would have been in Europe, you know, for three months at a time, you know, hanging out and seeing other beautiful countries and, you know, just to kind of kill some time because it makes it really hard, you know, it makes it hard, you know, we're trying to stay positive. I'm usually a very upbeat and very positive person and um, I rarely let anything bother me, but this is, has been bothersome. It's it's tough, you know, waiting around and luckily we, we're staying in a really lovely condominium uh, surrounded by all these wonderful uh, restaurants such as this one. Uh, Mosier is it's really peaceful. They have beautiful music playing right now, and uh, we're having our coffee. So we're starting to come alive a little yeah, bit. Yeah, got our coffee, <laughs> and we just ordered some breakfast. So we'll get yeah. some eggs coming our way, and that'll help wake us yeah. up some more. But but yes, we are trying to remain positive amid a um, a, a situation that uh, we have no control over. So that's the whole thing. Yeah. We have so. made some great friends. That's yeah, something that's, that's nice. been really good. We met. Uh, Matt from Australia, and he's one that kind of mentioned to get the YouTube business thingy going, so that's kind of where we got this started, so um, otherwise I don't know if I would have started this, but it's been a great hobby and something yeah. that I really enjoy, and it's exactly. been a lot of fun doing. Yeah, and we like bringing all these wonderful videos to you because, you know, you can 
we want to share our experiences with you, you know, uh, the, good the, the good and the bad, and the mid, too. <laughs> So, like they say, the good, the bad, and the ugly. No, we really haven't had anything ugly, per se. But, yeah, we have the highs and lows. Let's put it that way. We have highs and lows. But for the most part, it, we're, we're really enjoying our stay here in, in, in Mexico. It's uh, proven to be a beautiful country. Uh, and the city that we're in, is, it's amazing. You know? We're very, very happy here. Uh, and I know that once we actually take delivery of our beautiful home, we'll be bringing you videos of that as well. And uh, we'll be, I know once we get settled in, and uh, we will be so much more at peace and, and happier, and we'll be able to bring you, uh, we're excited about showing you the community as well of what we're gonna be living at. Uh, it's, it's just beautiful with lakes and walking trails and bike trails and you know it is uh, lots and lots of retail areas with restaurants and shops and you know I could get my hair done, Ken could get his hair cut, you know. There's so many wonderful retail shops in the the beauty, uh, the beautiful uh, it's weekly beautiful. laundry. That's an exciting part to your life. <laughs> We're only a five minute walk away. <laughs> until we decide if we want to get a washer dryer and we may at some point in time but at this point we feel like we really have no need you know for four u.s dollars you guys we can do a nice load of laundry um weekly so it's it's great you know so we have no qualms or concerns there all right well i'll show you some more of our breakfast whenever it arrives we're getting it freshly made right now yes yes okay all right our breakfast has arrived and you can see it comes in this cast iron skillet has some salad in there you got the scrambled eggs hamburger pieces in there mushrooms mushrooms cheese looks cheese. like some melted cheese a little bit perhaps but it looks quite delicious, delicious actually. Yes, this will help wake us up and get us going this morning now, finally. <laughs> yes. Okay, we wanted to show you as we started eating, and it has hash browns, which they call it a roasty, rosty. And you can see it's at the bottom of the skillet, and it's got bacon bits in that yes. too. So this is really loaded with lots of flavors. It's got onions, grilled onions as yes. well. Absolutely delicious. Again, they outdid themselves once again yeah. here at Mosier. Yes. One of our favorite places for coffee and food. Bringing old world recipes to beautiful Mexico. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in. And hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We'll be bringing you more wonderful videos from different uh, restaurants and other parts of uh, Queretaro uh, that you can uh, see the beauty of this mountain city. And next time we promise to be more alive and more awake. <laughs> I think we'll be okay once we have our coffee. Thanks for tuning in, guys.